The undefeated Minnesota Vikings are ready for another primetime matchup in their new stadium. This time it's Monday night football against the New York Giants. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Rosen. And I'm Mike Max, and Mark, it is festive out here to say the least. It's official. I saw the Mike Zimmer for President 2016 <laughs> t-shirts have surfaced already. And quite a contrast from last time, Maxie, we were doing a pregame show when I think it was 20 below zero at TCF Bank <laughs> Stadium before that Seattle playoff game. Quite the festive atmosphere, and rightfully so because of all the good things that are happening with this football team. Yeah, the sense of optimism. There's some Ryder Cup hangover maybe a little bit, but the Vikings are back in business, and you can sense it here. And because of this weather, everybody's in such a good mood. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot happening with this team. I know you had a chance to sit down with the, the new quarterback yeah. by surprise with the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, of course, the Vikings have had all kinds of issues on the injury front. Teddy Bridgewater going down with a season-ending injury startlet. The answer has become Sam Bradford. I sat down with him earlier this week to find out more about his strong start to the season. Take me back, Sam. One day you wake up and you're, and you're pretty sure you're going to be playing for the Philadelphia Eagles and you get a phone call that you're now a Minnesota Viking. Is that shocking, surprising? How do you describe it? Uh, you know, there were a lot of emotions that day. Um, you know, at first I was just very surprised because, you know, it was something that just wasn't on my radar. I mean, it was the last thing that I was expecting to hear from Coach Peterson when I heard it. But, you know, I think after I had time to kind of think about it and for it to all soak in, you know, I was just excited for the opportunity, you know, to be a Minnesota Viking and to be a part of this team in this locker room. And then you get to Sunday night opening this new stadium against, oh yeah, the Green Bay Packers and you're the starting quarterback. What did it feel like that day for Sam Bradford? Yeah, um, yeah, that day was awesome. Um, you know, I think that, you know, that's probably about as nervous as I've been leading up to a game in a while. You know, there were a lot of butterflies. You know, obviously you know, I wanted to make a good impression on my teammates being the first time with them on the field. Um, but you know, I don't think we could ask for a better way to open up that stadium. And the atmosphere inside that stadium was unbelievable. I mean, it was one of the loudest venues that you know, I've probably ever played in, and our fans were awesome that night. Being a leader as a quarterback by definition, is it all about the productivity and the numbers that you put up, or is there an intangible something, the way you communicate, the way you handle yourself in the huddle that goes a lot further than we see? Yeah, I think it's both. You know, I think there's things that you do on the field, but I think there's a lot of things that you do off the field. Um, you know, I think you have to build relationships, um, you know, with everyone in the locker room, everyone on the offense. You know, I think they have to see you work at it. You know, I think they have to know that you care. Um, you know, so I think it's a good combination of both how you perform on the field, but also how you approach things off the field. Is it more important that particularly given this defense that you make a lot of plays or that you don't make mistakes? Yeah, I think you're looking for a balance of both of those as well. Um, you know, you don't want to try to play so cautious that, you know, you never take advantage of, of big plays down the field and you don't create explosive plays. But, you know, at the same time, you know, when our defense is playing as well as they have been playing, um, you know, I think you kind of have to know, okay, you know, let's play smart most of the game, but, you know, I don't think you can let that affect you. You know, I think you just got to go out and kind of play your own game. Correct me where I'm wrong, but what I see from you since you got here is you had a celebrated college career, you had knee injuries, your number one overall pick, you play for the Rams, they're not that good, then the Eagles, they struggle. Uh, you've seen everything. You've been paid a lot of money, all those things. And I, I just sense that things just roll off of you and, and, and you just kind of go, hey, whatever, just tell me what time the game is and let me go play. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think over the years I've just learned that, you know, you can only control what you can control. And, you know, all the other things, everything that's outside of my control, why worry about it? Yeah, you know, the Vikings, Max, he tried to put on a good face uh, after the devastating injury to Teddy Bridgewater, but there's no way they're going to just allow this team, which is Super Bowl ready in their minds, to go on with just Sean Hill. With all due respect to Sean Hill, they had to push the chips in, and they certainly yep. did, to much of anyone's surprise, that they were able to get Sam Bradford. Not that the Eagles were unhappy, because they got Carson Wentz, Carson who's Wentz, unbeaten yep. right now. Yeah, and Sam Bradford hasn't had any turnovers yet, and I think no, that's, that's what they really thing. like about him, is he understands yeah. the system. 